everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maura and I'm a physical therapist and certified yoga teacher. Today I'll be sharing a quick 10 minute yoga practice to tackle the aches and pains that we get from technology. So if you're taking a break from your busy day, welcome and go ahead and grab your mat for this 10 minute practice. As always, please make sure that it is safe for you to be practicing yoga. You are welcome to use props and variations or skip anything that doesn't work for you. Be sure to check the description box for other helpful resources for beginners and injury prevention tips. Let's get started in some cat-cow and just starting with some rhythmic breathing and movement of the spine. So hands under shoulders and knees under hips. Go ahead and inhale, drop the belly, wrap the shoulder blades back and lift your gaze. And then as you exhale, tuck the chin around the spine and press the earth away, feeling the shoulder blades slide away from each other. And let's go through a few rounds of this at your own pace, matching your rhythm to your breath. And then just settle back into your tabletop, coming into some thread the needle. Reach your right arm up, reach toward the sky, and then thread it underneath, bringing your head down to the floor or a block. And you can do anything you like with your arm. If you wanna reach to the top of the mat, or if you wanna keep it by your cheek and press your shoulder open a little bit more, those are all some options you can take. Pressing back up, re-extend that right arm, reaching tall, and then replace that right hand on the mat. And we'll repeat with the opposite side, lifting the left arm high, rotating the spine, threading the arm through, bring the head down to the mat, and gently settle into your thread the needle twist. yourself back up through tabletop, re-extend that left arm, and then replace it back into tabletop. Now we're going to shift the weight into the left hand and the left knee, reaching the right toes out, and then reaching the right hand forward, sort of a baby wild thing here. Maybe rotating and extending up toward the ceiling if that feels good for you. And then look down, replace that hand, replace that knee. Let's do that on the opposite side, shifting into the right knee, right hand, reaching up, really getting a side body stretch. pose now. Reaching the hands to the top corners of the mat, gently bring the head and chest down to the mat and just let gravity pull you down, sending the hips up. Bring your forearms to the mat, slide forward into Sphinx, elbows under shoulders, palms flat, feet flat on the floor, just bringing some extension into that back, undoing the, all the flexion that we do during the day, looking at devices. 
And then if you'd like to come up into seal, extend your hands out toward the top corners of the mat and gently lift up a little bit higher using a little bit of back strength here as well. And lower down, hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, press back into downward facing dog. Relax the head, bend the knees and try to lengthen the spine, sending the tailbone up and back. coming up tall on the knees. Now, there's a lot of variations for this pose and it isn't comfortable for everyone. So just starting with the basic extension, placing the hands on the back of the hip and then just opening up the chest. If you'd like to reach down for the heels, if that's comfortable for you, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, staying here is fine. Just focusing on pressing the hips forward and gently extending the spine. around, easy seat, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're gonna do a little bit of twisting. Inhale your arms up and then exhale, twist to the right. Keeping your spine upright, keeping that connection to your deep breathing. twist to the left. Unwind your twist, sit up nice and tall. And we'll do a little bit of shoulder extension. Now there's a lot of ways to do this. You can grab your hands behind your back and maybe just keep them here, or you can walk them back on the mat as you open up the chest. Release that pose. And then place the hands on the mat behind you and place your heels in front of you coming into reverse table. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down and press through the heels as you squeeze the glutes and try and lift your hips and your heart toward the ceiling, pressing away with your fingers. and then slowly lower back down. We'll come back into an easy seat and take one last deep breath as we close this quick practice today. Inhaling the arms overhead and exhaling down. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick practice to alleviate aches and pains from text neck. Leave a comment and let me know how this practice went for you. And if you have any other requests, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel and help to support accessible yoga on the internet. If you wanna keep going, check out some of these other 10 minute practices that I have in the playlist that'll be popping up in this corner right here. And I'll see you next time.